Hello, everyone. My name is John Spinks, Senior Principal Technical Marketing Manager with the Hybrid Cloud Experience Team, here to share with you how you can connect and secure Red Hat Enterprise Linux on AWS to meet your business and cloud infrastructure needs. Anyone who owns a car has likely seen one or more of these lights on your dashboard. These symbols are giving you information about the status of your vehicle. Some of these may be expected or known issues you're planning to address soon, like the low fuel light telling you that you need gas. Others, like the check engine light, tell you something is going on, but it lacks additional details. If you have a newer vehicle, you may have a connected experience where you sign up for an account, register your vehicle identification number or VIN, and in return, you can get much more detailed and specific information. This is an email I recently received about my Ford truck. It's letting me know that I have a couple service issues that I need to address. These look like essentially software patches. Otherwise, my vehicle's in good shape. Wouldn't it be great if your operating system could give you this type of information and more? We're going to share how three little steps can give you this type of information for your Red Hat Enterprise Linux systems, and we can even fix it for you with the press of a button. This functionality is included with your Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscriptions, so there is nothing more to buy. Just create, connect, and correct. Let's start with create. If you already have a Red Hat account, you can skip this step. If not, you need to create one. To give you the findings from your systems, we need to be able to identify you. Just like I had to create an account with Ford to get vehicle information, you need to create an account with Red Hat to get Red Hat information. This is a one-time action for your environment. A Red Hat account lets you connect your systems to insights, view knowledge base and solution entries, and if you have a subscription that you bought from Red Hat, it lets you open a support case. You may not be familiar with Red Hat Insights, so I'll quickly explain what Insights does for you. Red Hat Insights continuously analyzes platforms and applications to predict risk, recommend actions, and analyze costs to help you control your IT spending. This is all in order to help you better manage your hybrid cloud environments. Insights gathers configuration and utilization data, then analyzes and provides insights from that data across all of the supported platforms. I'm focusing on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but Insights also supports Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform and Red Hat OpenShift. Insights analyzes the data and returns the results to you via the web UI, the API, or integrations through notifications or webhooks. This gives you a Red Hat view of what you should prioritize taking action on from our unique experience supporting Red Hat products. Think back to the truck example. Insights is what is generating the analytics that allow you to know what needs to be addressed in your environment. Some examples of what Insights can help you find are general best practices, not just for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but also for common applications like SAP or Microsoft SQL Server, as well as configurations for cloud providers, such as AWS or Azure. While best practices are helpful and important, this will also let you know about misconfigurations and incompatibility issues. Insights will also give you an easy to understand, centralized view of all common vulnerabilities and exposures, or CVEs, patches, and regulatory compliance issues such as PCI or HIPAA. Insights can also help you set up baselines and identify drift, either comparing systems to the baseline or to other systems to highlight differences, and you can get notified if a system drifts off the baseline. And Insights can help you understand your Red Hat subscription utilization in seconds. Insights brings into clarity what you care about. We group our services across platforms into common themes, business, operations, and security. As you can see, we have quite a few services for each of the supported platforms. As a reminder, all of these services are included in your existing Red Hat subscriptions. There's nothing more to buy, just turn it on. Now that I've explained what Insights is, let's show you how easy it is to create an account. Here I am on access.redhat.com. 
If I click the Login button, I can then click Register for a Red Hat account. At this point, I can choose my account type. In this case, it can be corporate or personal. I'll just go with the personal. Choose my Red Hat login. And then provide a strong password. Then confirm that password. We'll need some personal information, first name, last name, job title, email address, and phone number, as well as your mailing address. So we'll insert all of that information and click Create My Account. That's all there is to it. Now that you have your Red Hat account, the next step is to connect the systems to your account. This is similar to how I created an account with Ford, then gave Ford the VIN number of my truck. The VIN number uniquely identifies my vehicle as belonging to me. This is an action that you take once per system. And of course, this can be automated. The connection is currently a two-step process, and we're hoping to get this down to a single step in the future. First, you run the command subscription manager register to connect the system to your account. Then you run the RHC connect command which connects your system to Insights and enables remediation. In order to make RHC work properly, some additional components are needed. Not all marketplace images include RHC as it is a newer package, released as part of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.4 as a technical preview and fully supported as part of RHEL 8.5. The RHC Worker Playbook package contains Ansible playbooks that makes the connection magic happen. And since we want to run a playbook, we also need Ansible. Note that the version of Ansible included for Red Hat Enterprise Linux is only for limited use automation for purposes like RHC, Insights Playbooks, and System Roles. Finally, specific to AWS users, in order to make sure you have full access to the Ansible packages, you might need to update the RH Amazon RUI client package, which is where you get your software repositories from. Let's walk through what this looks like. First, we will register our host to Red Hat. sudo subscription manager register. This will prompt you for your username and password. I am going to show you near the end of this video alternate ways so you don't have to put this information into a script or a playbook. But this was the simplest method to start with. We've now been registered. The next step is we're going to update our packages. We'll do RH Amazon Ruby client and RHC. So this is just a simple DNF update. Once those are updated, we will install the new packages that we need. In this case, Ansible and the RHC Worker Playbook. Now that we have all of the packages we need, we're going to connect via RHC. In the background, this is going to run that RHC Worker Playbook, which in turn will connect you to Insights. This does take two to three minutes. So give it a little time and then verify your Insights connection with sudo insights-client-status. And we can confirm in this case, we are registered. The final step is to correct. This is a step that will need to be repeated from time to time. But like the previous step, you can do some automation and everything shown is backed via APIs. To correct, we're going to review the issues that Insights finds, create a remediation playbook, then download or run the playbook. It's important to note anyone with access should be able to download the playbook. But to execute the playbook, you need to provide explicit permissions to run code on the systems. This is because we don't want just anyone being able to make changes to your systems. I won't cover that in this video, but there is an article I'll point to at the end where I walk through every step. This is very important because the analyzed information that Insights returns is based upon Red Hat support knowledge, putting all of the information we have across all of our support cases, solution articles, and knowledge base entries to work for you. 
in order to make it easy to identify any issues in your environment that you need to address. Why wait for an outage or a phone call that wakes you up in the middle of the night? Insights can proactively inform you about many common issues. As shown in the on-screen image, most patches and CVEs on the customer portal will now also take you right to Insights, showing you which registered systems need to have these issues addressed. Let's walk through how to correct what Insights finds. Here I am on the main page of the Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console, or console.redhat.com. I'll click Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and this is going to show me the Insights dashboard where I can see I have eight CVEs with security rules. So I'm going to start by viewing those CVEs, and right off the bat, I notice that one of these CVEs has a known exploit. It stands out to me. Expanding it will give me additional information, and then I can view even more, including viewing it in the CVE and seeing exactly what a known exploit is or the additional information that our security rule provides. If I expand out the specific system, I can see why we've detected the issue, the steps to resolve it manually, as well as any additional information. I could click that remediate button and create a brand new playbook. I can review the systems that are part of this playbook, and then I can also review and edit the actions. So I can either block sudo edit, or I can accept the default recommendation, which is just to update the sudo package. I'm gonna accept that default and then click next. Review my remediation playbook and click submit. I've just created my playbook. I can open it. That will take me to the remediation section of insights. And now I can see that I have the playbook here and I can actually download it or in my case, execute it. Because I'm connected with RHC, I'm directly connected and I can run that playbook right from Insights. I can even view the status, it's directly connected, expand out my UUID, and I can see this playbook running in real time. Because all I'm doing is updating a package, it happens really, really quickly. So I can see here that I've checked for the update, I've upgraded the package. In this case, if I needed to reboot, I could. And in this case, uh, I've already completely succeeded with the job. If I go back to the main CVE, I can see that the issue is resolved. And if I go back to the vulnerability page, I can see that that CVE is no longer shown. Now we've created, we've connected, and we've corrected. But I do want to tell you about a few other options that I wanted to share before closing. I'll call these advanced connect options since they change or even eliminate the connect step. One option is to use activation keys. If you're already a Red Hat customer, especially if you're using Red Hat Satellite, you may be familiar with the concept of activation keys, which supply granular host-based subscription and content management configuration information at the time of registration. Activation keys are great, especially when using automation, since it does not require the passing of a username or password. A newer option is one we'll call Hybrid Cloud Your Way. This provides the simplest possible experience for public cloud users. It requires setting up a connection between your public cloud account and the hybrid cloud console, the same place we corrected the issues found with Insights earlier. This one-time connection enables auto-registration and subscription reporting. If you buy subscriptions from Red Hat and are interested in the bring your own subscription model, this also enables gold images created by Red Hat. The great thing about this is once configured, essentially, you create a new instance and it's automatically registered to Red Hat, skipping the connect step entirely. It's just done for you. In this video, we have created a Red Hat account, connected systems to Red Hat, and corrected the issues that Red Hat Insights finds. Towards the end goal of securing your Red Hat Enterprise Linux environments. There is a knowledge base article that covers this step by step including the advanced connect options that I touched on. Type in the URL on screen or scan the QR code to get more information. Before ending, I'll share some feedback and resources about Insights. We have a series of customer quotes and feedback published on the Insights YouTube playlist. One user said that Insights is like having another person who is completely devoted to going over configurations, making sure that everything is set to industry best practice, 
that all patches are installed, and that everything is configured properly. All you need to do is go in and check the Insights console and see what needs to be done. Scan the QR codes to see and hear this in the customer's own words. We also worked with an analyst firm to compare the time and number of steps that it takes to complete common actions both with and without Red Hat Insights. Insights can save quite a lot of time and effort on the part of the systems administration team, but don't take our word for it. Read the analyst paper for yourself. To find out more information, feel free to check any of the product links for Red Hat Insights and get a boost to your IT operations. With that, I thank you for your time, and I hope you've learned how easy it is to create, connect, and correct your Red Hat Enterprise Linux systems.